if you can, and most women, normal healthy women will do this, as you transition into a relationship, as you go from seeing each other maybe once a week in the beginning, and then after you sleep together, usually the woman starts reaching out. And then by the time you get to week six or week seven, she's bringing up the exclusivity talk. And by then, you're pretty much going to be at her house at night or she's going to be at your house. And so you're always going to be seeing each other. And when you're in that place, your girl is usually going to be calling you, texting you, FaceTiming you two to three times a day anyways. So there's no reason, and it's totally counterproductive to reach out. But occasionally, women will notice that, why am I always the one reaching out to you? Why do I always have to call you first? If I didn't call you or text you, you probably would never reach out to me. And you want to joke around and laugh and tease like, babe, but you love reaching out. And quite frankly, I love seeing your name pop up on the phone. It's a great surprise because I never know when you're going to call me or text me. It's never at the same time, and it's always a beautiful beautiful surprise. So I always look forward to it. And with most women, you know, you'll have a laugh about it, and then she'll just keep pursuing you and won't say anything about it. But what if she brings it up three or four times over the course of a month or two? And it's kind of irritated about it. Well, in that case, then you want to make a little bit of an adjustment to where you're going to reach out to her once a week in an unexpected, unpredictable, in a different way every week. Because what she's really saying is you don't reach out at all and that kind of makes me feel like you don't care. So if you did care, I'm going to give you this feedback and you will do something that makes me feel like you care. 